My name is Rachel McLucas. I am the curator at Oak Hill and the Martha Berry Museum. I have been a part of the Martha Berry Museum staff since 2008. Uh, I actually joined as a part of Berry College's work study program. Uh, at the time it was student work, now it's known as LifeWorks. I joined that staff not having any inclination of museum work um, and really uh, with just a, a unrecognized interest in uh, cultural uh, heritage and material culture in particular that that experience really ignited. So through that time as a student uh, while attending Berry College, I was able to work uh, closely with the then curator and the collection of Oak Hill and the Martha Berry Museum and it would launch me into my career now. Uh, so I uh, have since moved from working just with the collection at the museum to really embracing exhibitions and exhibition development. I have a, a real love of interdisciplinary uh, studies and opportunities to um, share history, share our story uh, through unique lenses. So I'm very fortunate to get to have such a, a wonderful um, resource uh, and work with that daily and just to have such an opportunity to collaborate with local community members and um, and with so many uh, people who are invested not only in our museum uh, but also just interested in uh, in sharing their um, their particular lens to our story So today's lecture is about Martha Berry's influence on education and the Berry School's influence on education in Northwest Georgia. And it, for me, that interest has been slowly building. Uh, as I mentioned, my initial uh, foray into museum work was really through objects and collections. And so I have a history uh, or background in art history. And so I was not uh, specifically drawn to uh, Martha Berry's role as an educator really until more recent years. And it's been through not only our, through looking at the, the amazingly um, rich resources of our college's archives and getting to you know read her letters, read her writing, read accounts of her, listen to the oral histories of those earliest students and faculty and staff that really have painted just such a dynamic picture of who she was. And so that has really informed what we're gonna be uh, talking about today is the fact that she was really just such a uh, dynamic person and uh, it's been this quest to try and understand who she was um, and, and hearing all of these different uh, accounts of her and even her own um, expressions that has really uh, fueled this newfound love and interest in exploring her responsibility and contributions to education in this region. I really enjoyed recognizing how she worked collaboratively with the staff and faculty of that time. A lot of times, and even somewhat in the talk I'm going to give, you'll hear me reference Martha Berry, but it's almost like that collective we. Uh, you know, there really was an army behind uh, her efforts. It's just that they were really moving in tandem. And so I think that recognizing, um, I'm always uh, intrigued by the humanity of her and the fact that I find that really inspiring because she didn't let that hinder her in any way. Uh, so even though she made mistakes and even though they, you know, it, it so much of uh, the research and preparation for this really just felt very modern. Um, a lot of the challenges they encountered as an institution, a lot of the the um, concerns from the student body uh, and even just um, how societal influences were feeding into their decision making. Some of this could be a conversation for today and I think that that really um, has been a, a special uh, revelation for me in the process of working towards uh, putting together this program today.